All right, wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back-to-back -back update and information as they go. In case you have not joined our social media handle, what are you waiting for? Uh, please go ahead and join our social media handle because they know they pay money to do that, you know. <laughs> now, I carry you thunder go down for the court uh, where we say that they um, check, check the case where we say concern of one of Ndibo, Maz, Nade, Kano, as they go. Make I bring you the matters as they go for the high court there. Uh, you know, say the people, they, they collecting that that's a case. Uh, they do plenty, plenty things where we say that they do for court to there. But Chuko Kikabiyama, uh, where we say na send onion do for this journey, where we say in the go, I uh, you know go let some make it disappointed. Yeah, ma. They say, uh, no, you hear what I mean? I can't know. Um, Waka Lobelia, no, you wait here. And we believe, say, uh, assistance. Uh, I can't do the heavy the Nigerian government uh, and soon they go release the only make I call you go to the federal court make you see the matter see the hot. They say the federal high court sitting in Abuja has adjourned a suit filed by the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Nam de Kano against the Nigerian government and attorney general of the federation and minister of justice. This was made known in a press statement released by Ifani Ejo for the lead lawyer for the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekano, on Tuesday. According to the statement, the case which was filed for judicial interpretation of relevant laws and statutes reg regulating the alleged abduction and extraordinary rendition of Namdekano from Kenya to by the Nigerian government and its agencies was adjourned to further notice by the court. The statement reads, This suit was instituted in April 2022 to invite the federal government, government, the federal high court to interpret the relevant section of the domestic and international laws which the Nigerian government and its lawless security agencies floated in their criminal abduction and extraordinary rendition of Mazin and the Kano from Kenya to Nigeria. Far-reaching reliefs were sought by Nam de Kano in this suit, which would be granted when the interpretation of these laws is in the positive. The matter has came up today being the 11th day of July 2023 for the hearing of the suit. However, the court could not proceed with the hearing as originally scheduled. The court insisted that it was limited to entertain only matters coming up for ruling and judgment and consequently adjourn the suit. However, it is imperative to emphasize that the fulcrum of the present suit, i.e. the questions we are asking the court to resolve in this present suit, have been effectively and holistically resolved by the judgment of the Court of Appeal delivered in favor of Onion Dumas and Nandekano on the 13th of October 2022, which is binding on the Federal High Court. In view of the serious importance attached to all Onion Dumas and Nandekano's case, our lead counsel, Professor Mike Ozekomesan, flew all the way from Calabar, where he is currently engaged in election petition matters, to attend today's proceeding and as usual, do justice to same. Unfortunately, the matter did not go on. We shall keep Ezebo Omochineke abreast of every development in Onyandu, Nam the Kano's case, and every situation around him, even as we are relentlessly pursuing his unconditional release. And my people, when I don't see as matter they happen for uh, Nigeria, when I don't see as see they go, uh, this case is not even what is supposed to be a lingering like this. You know, be matter where we say it's supposed to they, they make and they long, uh, they long like saying a long bench. Uh, but you know, uh, the country where we say we day, uh, even the man where we say then they, they say he be president, they say he rig election, you know, and so he carry enter for that office. Um, and they don't carry and go court, the court self, you no, know, they talk anything. Uh, the PDP day there, the Labour Party day there. And two of them are against APC. But these people never talk anything. Now, why, why, why then they do? Even now, for the country where we say me and you know, say, uh, snake, they carry money from jam. Monkey, they still carry money around. 
and um place where they pack money somehow money they miss for bank <laughs> you can imagine such a country myself i they wonder <laughs> i they wonder what thing they happen for the obodo uh, because um as nikwa maro ibezie man onye gezikwa no nigeria because um <laughs> it be like say everybody will be say they for the position then corrupt corrupt uh, but one thing uh, uh yeah, where they happen, we, we say uh, all these things where they go on uh, in Nigeria, Obuduna, because say Nigerian has refused uh, to elect people who are learned enough. Now let's go down to what is happening. Uh, this one is talking about what is happening and in Igbo land. They say they chase Fulani out of their land, yet the killing continue. All the Igbos are crying now. Alaji Musa Saud. <laughs> Uh, this thing is sending is sending a message you uh, yeah, because most of the thing where we say they happen for the Bodo Biafra fit no be all this thing whether they accuse Master Simon Eba if it be people where we say um say you don't chase them come out to the fee come to you indirectly can they carry pum 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 uh things you know what they try talk uh, because um the 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 heart is wicked and deceitful above all things yes. If you chase full and people come out for your place, if you come in directly, can they add say uh, they, they follow support and they sit at home, can they use and they spoil things and also they go they use and they, they blame the people where we say that they want make freedom come for the obodo. Now see what in the happen, make I read this thing to you. A leader of the Arawa community in the southern Nigeria, Alaj Musa Saud, has urged President Bola Tinubu to allow the South people, South East people to solve their security challenges because they are in a better place to find a solution for their problem. Said made the plea in an interview with Venged newspaper yesterday. According to him, it is now clear that a splinter group has emerged among the rank of the indigenous people of Biafra, which is responsible for the recent security breaches in the southeast. He said at, at, at the time, Fulani people were accused of being behind killings in several parts of the southeast and we are chased out, adding that the killings has continued in the area. You noted that the continuation of the killing even after the Fulani people were chased out of the southeast is an indication that they were not responsible for the insecurity in the past. They have chased all the Fulani out of their land, yet the killings have been on. It shows that Fulani were just being blackmailed. All the Igbos are now crying for security. Tunubu should allow Igbos to solve the insecurity in their land, he added. <laughs> uh, this one where this man, um, they talk, no follow, you know, follow at all. Because um, if a nation should work, uh, everybody should work together. Meanwhile, I think um, there is more to what is happening in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Yes, there is more to what is happening there is more to what is happening is there is more to what is currently going on in the southeast i'm being honest with you there is more to what is happening in the southeastern part of nigeria there are many things happening in the southeastern part of nigeria so i think um it is it is high time uh, some of these things are being looked into properly to be able to know what is happening or getting in or getting in like because um these people could be accusing um Simon Eber and the rest and um meanwhile something else might be happening from behind you never can tell look at what is also happening in the in the in the north uh, the the outside man that is even talking about the things happening in the south is look at what is happening in the north have they been able to handle it they have not been able to handle what is happening in the northern part of Nigeria. Yes, they have not been able to handle that. They have not been able to handle it even up to now. Something plot the day before yesterday and yesterday was 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 like fire, was like hell. Many people we are we are taking down houses, we are raised down, many things happened over that place, and nobody is saying anything. So I don't think um, that the southeastern people should be blamed now because of what is happening to them. And meanwhile, Nigeria is already, you know, um, somehow scattering. And um, because um, the people who say for Nigeria, 
It is for an electron degree, more those things, you know. Meanwhile, make I wind down the cutting here. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please kindly subscribe to our channel.